That's right, ladies, we're doing another survival challenge here in the wilds of Newfoundland and Labrador. Oi! This right here is where the shack's gonna go. Two frogs, one squirrel. Ain't gonna go hungry tonight. Extra tasty. Get the old slingshot ready. We got three bunks and we got a fire. That's the shack. Polypore mushroom. If you imagine real hard, it's kind of like you're cutting through a piece of meat. Get some of that flavor and get some of that protein. Squirrel bone juice. A raw oyster. That's what these mushrooms taste like right now. And I don't like oysters really, so the texture thing. <laughs> As soon as all the gear was stowed away, we all split up, heading into the bush, exploring our new home and finding what resources we could. Low country boil. Just racking up to death toll here. Two frogs, one squirrel, and we still haven't found Adam. Looks like we might have some rain approaching. It's getting pretty dark up there in the sky and it's only about 11 o'clock in the morning. Still no sign of Adam. I just heard a whistle come out of the woods. I'm guessing that's Adam. Yeah, baby. Ain't gonna go hungry tonight. Big meal tonight. That crock pot will be flowing. Been here what two hours? Not even. Haven't been here two hours, maybe an hour and a half, two hours. We got a location found, one grouse, one squirrel, two frogs. We're taking a quick five minute break to clean all the animals, get them all prepared, and then all three of us are gonna crack on shelter and firewood and get set up for tonight. We got maybe five hours daylight. Great day, great spot, loving it. This right here is where the shack's gonna go. Do like a lean-to and then build like a windbreak along the front. And then basically it would almost be like, kind of like a ground blind, just a little span of light. And I'd put my fire pit right there next to that rock. Let's try to get this little fire pit down in here a little bit so we can use this rock as a windbreak and I want it deep enough I can put some rocks in the bottom for a little heat and also not worry as much about these roots catching fire.
time to throw the tarp on. Got a nice little frame built here. Adam Riley approved. Built by Tom Garstang, Matthew Clark. And uh, we're gonna tarp her over. See how she looks in. I'll be the first one to admit this is one rough ass looking shack. <laughs> what do you expect? A couple Americans, one Newfie. Almost out of daylight. We get maybe an hour and a bit of good light. Everyone's doing their last minute rushing around getting some firewood, getting some spruce for our beds. Now this is the inside of the shack. Pretty tight quarters. We got three fellows, so I mean, that means you got three people. Someone's got to be the meat in between the two pieces of dirty bread. Just guess who got that job? You betcha. Maddie Clark sandwich tonight, boy! In between a couple of loners, how you do? Wonder how many ladies out there wish they were me tonight, laid up in a dirty old shack between a couple of greasy fellas. Doesn't sound very good, does it? Anyway, when it comes to beds, everyone's got their own preference to beds. Adam likes the moss. This is Adam's here, a little moss pillow top. Of course, I stick with the classic Inu floor. Still not done, but it will be. Classic Tom Garstang, right in the ground. Uh, I'm going to attempt to start our first fire with my favorite rod. We got some birch bark and some little flower heads out of the bog earlier. There you go. She's officially at home. We got three bunks and we got a fire. Grouse, two frogs, one squirrel for supper, and three good friends to sit around and yarn. What a great day. Just spotted something here in the river. Not sure if it's an otter or a beaver. There he is. Two otters. Three otters. You guys can't see it because it's too far away for this camera. It's a beautiful sight. Hello. Oh. Looks like everybody's up out of bed and gone for a walk. Looking for a grouse. Morning, day two. But we had a good night's sleep last night. Gonna go head into the woods and see what I can stir up. See if the grouse are out. Just slipping around hoping I'd jump a grouse, see a squirrel, maybe run up on some mushrooms, some berries. It's beautiful out here, folks. Look at the edge of this bog. Only thing is, you can put your foot through the ground just about anywhere you want to. You really gotta watch your step. I think I may have found a squirrel honey hole. 
see if we can get one for breakfast. Get the old slingshot ready. I was going to bring my bow for this trip, but sadly I broke it before coming here. Well, here's old Tommy boy. What do you at? Took one shot at a squirrel and missed him. No kills. Pick a few of these berries and uh, probably head back to camp and see if Adam's back. What he found. Maybe uh, put on some morning tea. These are bunch berries. And they're not like real juicy or flavorful like a raspberry or a blueberry. They do the trick. And also the leaves make really good tea. Most people here in Newfoundland walk right past these in the woods. I hear a squirrel. That's the first miss of the trip. It's coming in now pretty good. Well, boy, the rain got us droving out of it. Firewood duties, hunting duties, foraging, on hold. No rain here yet, it has uh, rained very long, so it shouldn't, shouldn't take much. Weather report, rain. Get our wet rain gear off and get this fire going, have a cup of tea and a relax. Gone all morning, no idea what time of day it is. Get ourselves, this is a king bolete. Beautiful, bright yellow, polypore mushroom. Good eating, very good eating. And this beautiful exotic, this is coral fungus, oyster mushroom. Big lunge, cup of tea, a couple of pinches of berries. Now look what I just came home to found by. A couple of beauties in making supper. I'm having mushroom soup. Mushrooms and old squirrel and grouse bones. If you imagine real hard, it's kind of like you're cutting through a piece of meat. Well, this is bones from last night's dinner. And we're gonna give them another run through the pot and I'm just cracking them with this Leatherman so we can get the marrow out the inside. Dirty broth. Imagine a raw oyster, but without the flavor. That's what these mushrooms taste like right now. Boiled mushroom soup is what we get for not killing anything today. Mm. 
I'm happy to have it. I won't say it's good. I'm very happy to have it. Adam thinks it's no good. Tom thinks it's good. Really, the only one that's got a real proper taste bud in this place is me anyway, so let's see. Good broth. Good broth. Let's try one of these mushrooms. Delicious. Adam's just not hungry enough, that's all. Mm -hmm. Me and Tom are fading away here, day two. <laughs> Now that our big feast of mushroom is over and uh, squirrel bone juice, it's time to just lay back, enjoy the sound of rain, and company of a couple good buddies. Once it gets dark, all you can do is eat, stare at the fire, go to sleep.